let me ask on the morality side, in, in the books that I mentioned, God Delusion and I'll Grow in God, you described that human beings don't need religion to be moral. So from an engineering perspective, we want to engineer morality into AI systems. So, so in general, where do you think morals come from in humans? A very complicated and interesting question. It's clear to me that the moral standards, the moral values of our civilization changes as the decades go by, certainly as the centuries go by, even as the decades go by. And we in the 21st century are quite clearly labeled 21st century people in terms of our moral values. We, there's a spread. I mean, some of us are a little bit more ruthless, some of us more conservative, some of us more, more liberal and so on. Um, but we all subscribe to pretty much the same views when you compare us with, say, 18th century, 17th century people, even 19th century, 20th century people. Right. Um, so we're much less racist, we're much less sexist and so on than we used to be. Some some people are still racist and some are still sexist, but the, the, the spread has shifted. The, the Gaussian distribution has moved and moves steadily as the centuries go by. And that is the most powerful uh, influence I can see on our moral values. And that doesn't have anything to do with religion. I mean, the the, the religion of the, the sorry the morals of the Old Testament are Bronze Age models uh, morals they're deplorable um, and um, they are to be understood in terms of the people in in the desert who made them up at, at the time and so human sacrifice um, uh, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth um, petty revenge killing people for breaking the Sabbath all that kind of thing um, inconceivable now. So at some point, religious texts may have in part reflected that Gaussian distribution at that I'm time. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they always re reflect that, yes. And then now, but the, the, the sort of almost like the meme, as you describe it, of uh, ideas moves much faster than religious yes. texts do, than your religious Yes, so ba ba basing your morals on, on religious texts, which were written millennia ago, yeah. um, is, is not a great way to proceed. I think that's pretty clear. So um, not only should we not get our morals from such texts, but we don't. We quite clearly don't. Um, if we did, then we'd we'd be discriminating against women, and we'd be we'd be um, racist. We'd be killing homosexuals and so on. Um, so so we 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 don't, and we shouldn't. Now, of course, it's possible to by the to, to use your twenty first century standards of morality, and you can look at the Bible and you can cherry pick. Uh, particular verses which conform to our modern morality. And you'll find that Jesus says some pretty nice things, which is great. But you're using your 21st century morality to decide which verses to pick, right. which verses to reject. And so why not cut out the middleman of the Bible and go straight to the 21st century morality, which is where that comes from is a much more complicated question. Why is it that morality, ch moral values change as the centuries go by? They undoubtedly do. And it's a very interesting question to ask why. It's, a, it's another example of cultural evolution. Just as technology progresses, so moral values progress for probably very different reasons. But it's, a, it's interesting if the direction in which that progress is happening has some evolutionary value, or if it's merely a drift that can go into any direction. I'm not sure it's any direction, and I'm not sure it's evolutionarily valuable. What it is is um, progressive in the sense that each step is a step in the same direction as the previous step. So it becomes uh, more gentle, more decent, as by modern standards, more liberal, um, less violent. See, but more decent, I think you're using terms and interpreting everything in the context of the 21st century. Yeah, yeah. Because Genghis Khan would probably say that this is not more decent because we're now, you know, there's a lot of weak members of society exactly. that we're not oh, murdering. He would, yes, and, and, and I was careful to say by by the standards of the 21st century, yeah. by, our, by our standards, if, if we with hindsight look back at, at history, what we see is a trend in the direction towards us, towards our present right. 
our, our, our present value so system. for us we see progress but it's it's an open question whether that won't you know, I don't see necessarily why we can never return to Genghis Khan times. Well, we could. Um, I, I suspect we won't. Uh, but um, it, it. But if you look at the history of moral values over the centuries, it is in a progressive. I use the word progressive not in a value judgment sense, in the sense of of a transitive sense. Each step is the same is the same direction as the previous step. So things like we don't. Um, derive entertainment from torturing cats. Um, we don't derive entertainment from, from like the Romans did in the Colosseum from, from that state. Or rather, or, or rather we suppress uh, the desire to get, I mean, to have play. It's probably in us somewhere. So there's a bunch of parts of our brain, one that probably, you know, limbic system that wants certain pleasures and that's uh that's... I, I, I don't i mean i i wouldn't have said that but um <laughs> you're you're at liberty to think that if you like <laughs> well no there's a there's a, a dan carlin of hardcore history there's a really nice explanation of how we've enjoyed watching the torture of people the fighting of people just the torture the suffering of people throughout history as entertainment uh until quite recently and now everything we do with sports we're kind of channeling that yes. feeling into something else. So, I mean, there there is some dark aspects of human nature that are underneath everything, and I do hope this like higher level software we've built will keep us at bay. Yes, but I'm also um, Jewish and have history with the uh, uh, with Soviet Union and the Holocaust, and I clearly remember that uh, some of the darker aspects of human nature creeped up there. They do. There, there, have, been, uh, there have been steps backwards, uh, admittedly, and, and the Holocaust is an obvious one. But if you take a broad view of history, it's, it's in the same direction.